Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Spade Adventurers. I'm Jake Spins, welcoming you guys back to my gaming and unboxing channel, where today we have another exciting unboxing for you guys. Now, personally, I'm excited for most unboxings, um, but I'm partially fairly excited for this one for a few reasons. First off, because I've been procrastinating this for a while. You know, when it comes to anime figure unboxings, there's just this thought in the back of my mind, and just any unboxing, that it's not going to go great, and that things could happen, because unboxings are a one-take thing, and that makes me nervous, which leads me to procrastinate, and it leaves my room to be a mess, or in this box's case, to be in the family room for months. So this is an unboxing that I could have done for since 2019, but uh, I haven't done it. However, I want to do this today so that I can start clearing out some room because I'm getting a computer. So I wanna make sure I have the room for that. But also, it's been six months since the Letha, Letha. <laughs> Leafa unboxing. So I figured it's about time for more SAO stuff, to be fair. But I was kind of waiting for a perfect time to talk about it. And I was like, oh, well, this doesn't really fit with the current stuff for SAO. And then I was like, okay, well, I'll wait until I finish it. And then I just never did. And we already have like the final season coming. So I figured now would be a, a decent time to do it because there's not really any good time to do it anymore. So anyway, though, I just got to go into this gigantic box. I'm telling you, I ordered two figures at once. And uh, the stupid thing, though, is that the shipping, if you buy multiple figures at once, the shipping is put on both of them. You don't save for shipping. No, it makes you pay 20 extra dollars for both figures. And that's annoying. Like, extremely annoying. Um, but I have been building up the, uh, the gold points. And I was thinking about getting a more expensive figure. And then, uh, yeah, things happened. It, it ran out of stock. So I might go after another one that I really like that's way more expensive but we'll see how points go because i also haven't been ordering figures recently and i need to be a little more careful with money because again i'm buying a computer so but anyway though guys today's figure is the asana schoolgirl exq figure unboxing which is pretty cool. Um, I know I've done a lot of Asuna figures. So if you're like, okay, I've seen enough of this girl. I'm out of here. I don't fully blame you. <laughs> Cause, um, let's see. I've, well, it's being obscured right now, but I know as a matter of fact, I have done at least three, maybe four videos. This might even be the fifth or even more because it's being obscured right now. Um, for my anime figures so kind of ironic because the one thing you buy them for is to display them but um anyway though um interestingly enough asana in a school outfit and i might be wrong because i'm assuming this is supposed to be the sao survivor school but it didn't even happen in the first season mainly for the reason of the only person you see in a school uniform in the first half of the Sword Art Online portion of it is actually Sugua, who you don't meet until the second part of season one, which is the Alfheim arc. But in the Alfheim arc, I don't think they really go back to school. I might be wrong, but um, it mostly focuses on Kirito trying to save Asuna from inside the game and then she saved so you don't actually see the uniforms i believe in still until ggo and i i want to say that because i'm pretty sure they're in school and it like sets stuff up 
Um, it's it's been a little while, and I haven't really watched GGO and past that multiple times. Maybe I've seen GGO more than one time, but I know I've watched the first season quite a few. So I'm sure once the whole thing's done and packaged up in a few years, maybe less, I'll watch the whole thing again because clearly I'm an anime nerd. But um, I believe the first time you like really, really get to see everybody and really the only time you get to see them in a school setting is in season two part two which is Alfheim crossed over with SAO and you really get to see them in school uniforms the thing is though Asuna usually has chestnut hair and that's usually what she's in but the cool thing is in this she has her blue hair which, if you don't know where that came from, because I've never really talked about this either, because this is my first blue-haired Asuna figure, um, during the time of GGO and pretty much the second season, she wants a bit of a change, but also jumping into Alfheim legitimately and making a brand new account, she ends up being able to choose a fairy race. I don't think she actually had a fairy race in Alfheim. I think she was just a regular fairy and, like, supposed to be, like, the servant to Oberon. It was it was kind of kind of creepy. But, um, yeah, she ended up choosing a race, same race as Sinon. Um, I, I, my brain's like the Sylphs, but no. I know there's the Sylphs, the Catsy... And that's like all I, all I remember. Um, the Catsy I remember were like cat people. I'm pretty sure though the Sylphs, the Sylphs were green. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I'll have a bunch of annotations. But essentially, you usually don't have this cross between blue hair and school uniforms. So it's pretty cool to see this. And um, it's really cool especially because of the second figure. Also, to be fair, um, I'm pretty sure this is from the um, from the app game in Japan. And had they done the real life type thing, it would have been kind of cool to see like a camera on Asuna's shoulder, um, just because in the real life, you know, Yuki going to school was with the camera. But in other types of media, Yuki is actually still alive, I guess. I don't know. Other than the anime, I haven't really seen that much. I did read at least floor one of the new version of the entire arc stuff, so I'm at least caught up there, but I didn't actually buy the right books. So I have yet to read the second floor, and I'm hopefully eventually going to do that. And who knows, maybe with this being the final season, maybe... And, I mean, I'm doubtful on this, but maybe at some point they'll make an um, anime where it's going over all the sea, all the uh, floors. And, you know, every few episodes is a floor, and they go through... Because that's what people actually wanted. They were like, I kind of wish they did that structure for the anime and just made it full-blown SAO. But they might also not do that. I'm not sure. You know, it'd be kind of cool if they did, like, a, a different art style. Closer to how the book's art style was and is. I do know that GGO's spinoff that we have yet to talk about, because I haven't opened a figure of it, um, that one started off as a book as well, like they all have. So, cards are still on the table for it. And what better way to, you know do more SAO anime than to essentially do it that way or give like an extent extended kind of view of it I guess however you want to put it is up to you but yeah I just think it would be cool um so in other words I should just read the novels <laughs> 
But um, anyway though guys, now that I am done rambling, we can pull this out of the box. As always, I am keeping the box. And uh, as always, they made the figure look like it was going to be way bigger. Or we have to really set it up. Maybe it's... Oh, you know what? Something I forget about in anime figures. Sometimes they'll just have them like in half. And you'll have to like attach stuff. So yeah, this is about the, the size I was pretty much expecting. Another weird thing that I notice a lot of anime figures do is that they'll always have specifically one hand that isn't attached, that has an item. And I notice that constantly. Because uh, Migasa had it, that girl from Attack on Titan that I horribly don't remember because it's been a while and I never was able to finish season two. So I should probably I should probably do that, but at this point in my life, I don't know if I really want to watch more Attack on Titan, to be honest. Like, I don't know if it would still really interest me, just because it's so gory. Um, but, you know, there's other characters that do it. Like, I know my only Kirito figure had it. I really should get another Kirito figure at some point as well. Um, but yeah, you know, if you if you look back on my figure videos, I'm sure you'll be able to find one. Um, but yeah. We're just going to put all of this stuff together, and then we'll look at it together. You know, such is the life of an anime figure. Uh, it's kind of funny, because I opened up a bunch of, like, Sonic stuff today. So it's, like, a very different thing doing an unboxing for a bunch of Sonic plush and figures than doing one for an anime figure. So here we go, guys. Here is Asuna going to school and she looks as cute as ever like her hair looks like an ice pop it's, it's great you know usually it's like oh yeah here's the here's the chestnut hair and i've i've done this before you know i've i've got a bunch of these but no this one it's like nice blue raspberry it's cool it kind of reminds me i don't know just because of the whole like refreshment idea like, it's slightly reminding me of that one creepy snack anime <laughs> that I can never remember the name of, but I hated the look of their eyes. But, um, yeah. Looking at the, uh, the actual hair itself, the gradient looks pretty cool because in the, in the anime, like, it's a fairly solid light blue with a few light changes, but on the figure, there seems to be, like, a lot of lighter blue in the middle and then having darker aqua spots here and there like underneath the ponytail you've got the braid which i always forget about her having a braid to it to a small ponytail which is uh pretty cute and of course on the uh bottom tips you have that darker gradient as well you also have the front of the hair which is uh the sides curving all the way around her neck um, it would have been nice if it was a little lower, but, you know, just so it didn't look like it was just covering her neck. But it's that supposed to be, like, wind type thing, and I'm assuming it's complimented by, complimented by the other figure, which we'll see in, uh, in a bit. But the hair looks pretty nice, as always, you know, and that wind effect adds a nice layer of coolness. Since this is supposed to be, despite it being a schoolgirl type of figure, you do also have this in the world of SAO Alfheim. Um, I think it was called like New, New Einkrad, that's what it was called. So because of that, you actually have Asuna's little pointy elf ears. Um, and something that I haven't talked about that I think is pretty cool, pretty much in this when she has her general clothes on, it's like the Blood Oath uniform, but with blue splashed in it, and it looks so peaceful and so pretty. And uh, I think it's just like a less violent version, like a less military authoritative version of it, which I just think is super cool. Um, so going on to more of the figure, you do have the general kind of close to like a blackish for Kirito in a way but it's that like 
dark gray could potentially be hints of blue, but more so like gray ish. You could call it like a, like a film of blue type of thing, but it's, it's more of that dark gray. You've got your little ribbon below the hair and above that is a collar with two blue X's. Um, it's extremely hard to see, but again, as I always say for anime figures, very impressive detail. Then going from there, you have that white shirt and that's that small area is just very impressive because you have this small fragile ribbon that's being slightly obstructed by the hair. Then you have the collar and then you have the shirt. You know, the shirt is important, but the rest of the stuff, you could very easily get away with not making that very high quality. But as always, despite it being, I think these were either 20 or 40, it's still amazing quality. And it's impressive when it's a $20 figure and it's this great. Um, I am always nervous though, when I do get certain ones and the previews aren't great. Because I have been shied away from buying a figure because of the preview before. Um, and it was a Leafa figure, actually. So, um, you also have on the figure a few gold marks that are around the white embroidered stripes being her little school badge. You know, just to make sure. This is her hall pass. This is her, I can get into school. I'm a bad mamma jamma sure let's say that <laughs> i i am powerful i can walk through these halls without being yelled at you know it it screams that <laughs> looks very like a for authoritative yet like cute just because of how, how like free she looks you know um and then under under that like jacket thing you have that general sailor actually it's more of a sailor skirt than it really is a school skirt because you have those buttons up top so yeah maybe maybe this is actually asana going to the military academy <laughs> honest to god i have no idea but um the nice thing again is that they keep consistent with the wind um i don't know if a part of this was because they wanted to keep it off her leg or they just wanted to, you know, 100% make sure to keep consistency. But as the hair flows this way, the skirt flows this way as well. And because it's a, uh, a figure, they don't have to worry about it being misplaced or anything like that. It's that set type of thing. And honestly, this doesn't have a lot of, uh, a lot of parts. Because as I said, some will have like the top of the body with the head attached and then, you know, the legs, the, the lower torso. This one just had the the hand with the suitcase, which um, that right there, black suitcase, you know, maybe she's a lawyer? I don't know. <laughs> School girl, say, okay, military academy, schoolgirl lawyer. Sure. But um, in her lawyer's briefcase, you know, she's probably got some, some homework, some case files. You never know. Maybe she has to stop the jury and the, the court hearings to do some homework. Who knows? But she's got uh, two buckles on there, which looks really great. You've got the silver lock and you've got all of the different pouches. Like on the bottom of this thing, there's actually like a bottom fold. I'm sorry, I can't really show that off without showing unfortunate things. But um, you have this bottom fold on the bottom of it and it's just this ridge. And it's this detail they didn't need to do. They could have just made it flat. But maybe for 3D modeling, it just made it easier. I'm really not sure. Um, her hands are pretty much... Um, together that's going to be extremely hard to see on this camera but they're extremely close together which is fine you know it makes sense has the briefcase held a lot better and then of course you have her other hand which is doing kind of like this other held type thing so i mean she could 
swap briefcases if she wants. Maybe she's doing like a double agent secret trade with herself. <laughs> like as she's with some... Oh, you know what? She's walking with somebody and she swings the briefcase behind her and then she swings that hand and then like gently holds somebody else's hand so they can grab the briefcase and then they part ways. There you go. That's a part of the whole military type thing. Secret Agent Asuna right there. Let's go. <laughs> now, of course, the last things to mention are the leggings right here, which is a fairly nice color. It's not a white. It's not really a gray, but it's this like muted cloud color and it just looks really great, especially with that dark gray on her. Um, and then, of course, you have the brown loafers, which doesn't really tie in the whole look, but it is what they wear for for schools. I don't know essentially what color I would have preferred. Maybe I'll just go into Animal Crossing and find, like, you know, basically an outfit very similar to this and just look and see what colored loafers, loafers would work for this. I don't know. Maybe probably a blue. Probably like a dark blue, not necessarily black, but it does add a little bit of color. So that is pretty nice. Um, this figure is also standing on this white stand with just the one foot. So she's super unbalanced, which is something that definitely makes me a little nervous because if something happens, she's literally only got one leg to stand on. This is not structured onto it. Most anime figures will have either a one stand with, you know, it like this, or at least have it to be where it's out, but it still has a stand and it has, like, plastic underneath to help it reach. Um, but this does look pretty nice. It just makes me nervous because I'm going to have to be super, super careful with this. Um, even just slightly moving it is making me very nervous because I can just see her shaking and I don't know maybe that's her own nervousness for her double agent sh shenanigans she wants that a plus <laughs> but um anyway though guys if you enjoyed military academy super secret agent school girl lawyer asuna <laughs> Make sure to hit that like button. Share this out with everyone you know and love. Brother, mother, sister, father, iguana. And definitely make sure to let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of this figure? I think that it looks pretty great. And I'm glad that it has blue hair. Because it justifies the entire means of me buying it. Because it's a different asana. Yeah. Also, it'll, it'll help differentiate the other anime figures I have since most of them are females with black hair. You can blame Kaon for that. <laughs> but anyway though guys, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Keep your toes safe and your briefcases safer. You never know when your information is going to be taken and brought to a secret organization. Asana's on to you. <sighs> At this point, I'm just trying to get a focus off of, off of my face onto her. And it's, it's not working. Yeah, I'm sure I got a thumbnail in there somewhere. Bye, guys. Yeah.